Alrighty. Let's watch this reel in full first. There's sound. Later. <laughs> this is so cute. I love the shot. This is for a general reel evaluation. Love that render. Be careful with that. That's the most powerful trank gun on the market. Huh, got her in Mexico. This one, it just feels like the lip sync is off. Well, Trank gun on the market. I don't know if it's me, I could have been a different player, but. Gun on the market. Huh, got her in Mexico. So, just in case. So, let's open this up, or I have already a DLC. Be careful with that. That's the most powerful Trank gun on the market. Still off. Be careful with that. That's the most powerful trank gun on the market. Huh. Got her in Mexico. Cool. Yeah, and then just in case. Quick time. That's the most powerful trank gun on the market. Huh. Got her in Mexico. Hmm. Seems a bit better. Be careful with that. That's the most powerful trank gun on the market. Huh. Got her in Mexico. Cool. Interesting, that feels a bit more accurate. We'll continue with this player just in case for now. Cool. Yeah, it is cool. I'm bringing this down so you can see the full thing. It is cool. They say it can puncture the skin of a rhino from a hundred. Ow! Yeah, I got some notes and expressions Ow! here. Oh. Yes! That's awesome! Feels clean in there. Let me just double check here. That's awesome! Yeah, it might just be. Maybe it's the length of the uh, the reel. Let me just double check here. I'm opening this up separately. I mean, it's not a big file. I'm going to keep watching this in quick time, though. Um, just to make sure that I get this all with the right timing. Ish. Still double check on your end. These are all cool renders. It's all definitely a really strong reel. I love the timing and all this is great. I remember this one. So good. And wait for it. <laughs> Back to that. I can see why you want to cut this up because it's a longer piece. I think it totally works. It's cool camera work in there. Now, this being all fully rendered, I'm not sure how much you want to go back in there in terms of changes. But just thinking out loud. So if I go back to this, just because I can do my horrible scribbles. So this is all totally fine. Again, I love this. I love the change into this. It's all very, very cute. Sometimes and stuff like that, it feels a bit... Twins per se from a visual thing because it's shorter here. We see the full arm here, but technically they're kind of mirrored where I would give this. Like, that is nice and appealing. Now you might argue, well, you go from here to here. That's a nice contrast, but I would still probably have something where even if this arm is further out here and then something with tighter claws and this out straighter give us, gives us a bit more asymmetry. Watch this again. It's all fine. It's a bit of a squishy hold out. Could be argued to bounce off a bit sooner and just have the the squash on here. But that that one frame here taking out of the body, so it's like the big body mass is but the head is doing a squish over maybe yeah this just strikes me a bit as a bit too parallel there this is all super cute yeah the actions are really really great it's gonna frame through this just because it's so cute Boom. great stuff on the wings i really like this too where we got the foreground element as a big blur and wipe into almost a different shot that's great too with the delay here such a good shot I mean, look at that. It's a beautiful render. Nice lighting there. Love all that. Got the nice silhouette there. I love that little... With the stretchiness. Could potentially have maybe one pinky further in and one further out of it. 
just something where it's not default spread even here a little bit of grouping and something and even could even be a this where maybe one of these curls up a bit higher and then comes back down a bit more together it's kind of pushing that potentially just a bit more even this here this is a hmm but then the fingers are all staying the same so this could be rotating in maybe bring this up a bit and curling the fingers in a bit more it's cute to how you have that here and then also slight offsets where the toes fingers don't all move at the same time and watch out it feels like you're slightly locked right towards the end where it could be an ever so slight continuation that tail and you just a it's tiny bit be careful with that this is all cool I like that where is it going here you can potentially push this when eye goes down where this is it, it pushes just that region out shape wise a bit more not going out too high here we're probably center it's like if that that would be out here it wouldn't be perfectly round it would have a little bit of a bump through there so it'd be this bump there i'm exaggerating but just something where imagine like that the shape kind of pushes the the eyelid shape around a bit more that's the only thing i would say since you're already so close up be careful with that that's the most powerful trank gun on the market huh. yeah just check your lip sync huh. got her in mexico probably just me Ooh. Super picky on something like that. It's almost like you want to bring that shape over here with the trees and everything. So it's always clear like that. This is extremely picky. It's not like anybody would not hire you because of this, but just because it overlaps and it's almost there. It's like, might as well keep it clean. Because cool. you have a nice clean color silhouette here. Cool. Yeah. All that stuff is cute. Borderline tangent there, but it's just right. It's cool. They say it can puncture. Some really nice stuff with the ears. It is cool. They say there. it can puncture the skin of a rhino from, from a hundred. Ah! This again might just be because of the uh, the sound being off. Ah! Ah! But there's like a double sound. The ah! ah! so it's almost like you want to go something with like maybe a, uh, uh, where it's. This also feels fairly symmetrical, where you can maybe push one side of the shape and then ah, really out extremes ah. and then ah. that ow. Ow. it's also ow pushing maybe the jaw forward a bit of an u shape just a bit more feels like we can push that just all that a bit more even this could be i'm starting to fall asleep and then maybe it gets a big like a broader asymmetry in the eye we're losing one a bit more there could be a bigger droop in one side i mean like one side was the the, the dart is here, so imagine it radiates out in terms of where the tranquilizer happens. So maybe this side is more affected first than the other. It's kind of pushing you. Ah, maybe even part of a tongue comes out. <laughs> yes! That's all cool. That's awesome! I like that. I like that lean over. Yeah, that's all cool. Maybe as a push, when you lean, I see something in there. But it could be potentially a bit stronger with with that over maybe the index goes out into a grouping of two and only one finger out so you can tighten up those two maybe that index there just kind of giving it a bit more of a impact since we're leaning so far over the slight rotation there. awesome so you have a nice move here but then i would also combine that with a post change so maybe now the fingers would be spread out here and then spread out so one two three out This is super picky, but I feel like those blasters could like a frame or two out. They feel a bit slow, wah, 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 which is just a bit faster. This is all cool. The only thing with that, it's a bit draggy, overlappy in terms of them dragging like that, where she's not passed out, but it could be just a moment of, I'm thinking in terms of, she done she doesn't want to pass out we'll hit mickey here and because of that maybe some of the fingers are a bit tighter like she's trying still to stay awake this just has a slight floppy over animated feel to it but it might just be me that's all cool this is really cool 
go back here. That's all cool stuff, all in, in focus. I like that. I like that he got that change there. Gets a bit lost a little bit, but I think it should be okay. Even now, there may be a bit of a glint here, a bit of a highlight, a cheated highlight. So we really understand what's going on. This is fine. That's all cool. <laughs> Definitely pushing the timing here, given the realism of this. It might just be a bit fast. It's not super fast in its spin, but I don't know. I like it. It's, it's funny. The only thing maybe on that turn, it feels so isolated that I would have a bit of a out. Like the this shape will go down a bit and then back up. Not huge, but so it's just not. This almost feels like a texture rotating versus geometry. This is, you know, a big physical object that rotates. And even when this stops, boing. That would even push the body over a little bit. A little bit of ambient movement. Personally, I would put that in there. That's all super cool. I love this here. That sideways. And look at that. That's cool. Yeah, that's really, really cool. This I reviewed in a previous Anim Challenge upload, if you can see there. It's so good, though. I mean, it's really super picky. You watch this once. Like, this is really cool. Love also the textures here. So the only thing I saw when I was watching this here is when it goes like that, it's almost a bit, wait for it, and A is a bit slow, and it's always the same angle. Same thing here. I think it would be kind of neat to not just be one axis, but go a bit of a, let's go, and it's almost one side is stronger. So imagine it goes a bit in an S curve but also a bit scramblier, a bit faster. But then imagine it's starting to go up sideways, that wall, just a bit, and then goes back down up here and then straight. So it's a bit of a rip. Like it's it's scrambly because of that, loses a little bit of its grip to then be straight towards the end. And because it's curved uh, environment, it'd be kind of fun to be like that. Instead of this just feels like a cycle going forward. That's all cool. I think the only thing I would do is storing feels a bit even. I think this could be one here and then one maybe higher, just giving the a better sense of I'm stuck it out of control. This feels almost too in control because it's so mirrored. It's like that. That's cool. So that gives us a, just enough of a change. That's cool. Then we got that. And that's that. That's a really, really strong reel. Absolutely love it. This just look wise, love it. But cool line choices, lots of mechanics, lots of also cool acting there. I know it's really cool. That's that from me. Thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.